<laughs> this bear is the strongest thing on the team. Hello everyone, my name is Grayson and welcome back to episode 7 of this Let's Play of Gordian Quest. We're on our second series of Gordian Quest. If you haven't seen my first one, you might want to check that out. That one does give a better tutorial than this one. This one I, I still talk about a lot of the fundamentals, but I sort of rush through some of them. So if you want more information, check out my first series I did on that. Otherwise, we're going to pick up where we left off, which is we need to level a few times. And then we've got our final boss, the Scorpion King, here to face. So let's head on into our skill grid. We have one point for Pierre. Now, Pierre could get another talent, and talents are pretty strong. I like talents quite a bit. We might just give him four intelligence here. Uh, that's just a, I mean, that's just a big, but he's going to get a couple more points of um, modifiers, up to plus seven on those things. So things like Ice Shard here, you can see uh, is doing 50%, but the Chill amount is doing 100% of intelligence modifier. So adding four points to our intelligence here added... Um, Let's see, two, three more damage total to the spell. So that's going to pay off pretty well against for all of our different spells. Uh, as well as our defense, which is also intelligence-based. We've actually got 13 guard on this card now, which is pretty good. Power throws through my veins, that's correct. Uh, Ida, we've got another card we could pick up. We could also master a skill. Let's pick up a card. I know there were definitely some fun uh, cards in here that we could find. Passive, your soul link, beast, attack one additional time, retain. That's tempting sacrifice nine hp to heal a soul link uh these are both useful and we have one of these each in the deck already so let's grab this one really got to get her card draw up um one max card draw we'd lose her max health though we definitely do need that we might swap this one out since we're not really using that as much there we go one max card draw and then uh, down here, Naran. Get another tempo card. Uh, oh, we have our skill grid here. Probably want to keep heading into tempo because I really don't want to make her uh, get a bunch of weird other things that she can't use. This is a good spot because we could go right along through here. Although we also want, but I do want the talent slot. Um, Let's plop this down here, and let's grab a tempo card. Draw tempo. Uh, okay, all allies gain four guard, plus two guard for every inspiration. We have one of these. Passive, start each round with green tempo, clearing other tones. Uh, green tone, gain one inspiration, retain. Interesting. So start each round, clearing other ones, but you gain one inspiration. That's possible. Etude, remove tones, add green, gain one inspiration, intrinsic, expend. Um, we might grab this one. And um, take that other one back out. This one here. Let's take that one out. And we'll be good with that. Got, a, got some extra cards in here now. We've got one Spirit Wolf Summon, so let's take out this Trained Wolf card until we get a second... Uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. After two turns in hand, upgrade a random Spirit Wolf's Bite to Wolf Fang. Oh, after this is in your turn, hand for two turns. Okay, we can keep that one. We'll take out the Wolf Pack until we get another Wolf Spirit Wolf card, and then at that point we may take out the Bear. Um, okay. Okay. So I think we're good there now. Did we get any equipment? We did not get any equipment whatsoever. So I think we're ready to head on down here to the boss. We're all rested up. We have okay supplies. We are gonna run out if we can't hit a merchant soon. So let's head on down. Okay, so this guy's actually pretty terrifying. 650 health. He's gonna poison. Uh, all enemies, all units on the opposing team, so we can't really avoid this. Gonna apply three poison when they play an attack or defense card. Spend one AP to expend it. Deals nine damage to all enemies. Shuffle two poison to the target's discard pile or draw pile. On turn start, trigger stored poison damage, then have it. Bypasses guard, heals will remove it. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit of a problem because this character is gonna be able to mess with our ability to block stuff. These guys are just guarding. Okay. We still want to head over this way and kind of get prepared to be in the way of this character. 
Now we start with this, so we don't need this. This is not intrinsic though, so we do we do still want this one because it starts in our hand and we still get the vigil. So let's um let's apply that. We could use the vigil. Uh, but then for the rest of the turn, we're just gonna do some damage here. We don't need the block yet, so we won't waste the vigil until next turn. Ida. Your soul link beast attack one additional time. That's actually perfect. We don't want to use that. So let's plop the wolf down here. And then we will throw a javelin at this man who can have some bleed on him. Yeah, Pierre. Discard two random spells. We could root ourselves to give him the can't reach things over here, so we do have to be over here. So we may want to, we'll spend one point moving over, then we'll channel three, get this Ice Nova for free. Ice Shard. And then we don't need to block, so I think might as well discard. I don't know if these two have range. This one is faster than Pierre, so it's possible that this one could spit some kind of poison over here, but I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Oh yeah, I forgot he was attacking all of us. What am I thinking? So that wolf attacks twice. That was, that was good. That was good, that was 18 damage. All right, all of our guys are moving around. What's wrong with you? Poisoned, okay. Uh, play any other card to remove this. What? Play any other card to remove this. Okay. Well. Oh, so we got rid of them. Okay, but we still have poison on us, and that goes through block, which sucks. We could use this to give everybody else. For every inspiration, we have two. He's going to hit for a lot of damage in this lane. Uh, no, front. All opposing units in the same lane. Oh, no, no. Deal 20 damage, shuffle one poison into the target's discard pile. I don't understand why this is hitting both of these characters, but uh, it looks like it's... Yeah, so we're going to have to move him over and not move the wolf over unless we want him to get smacked. I don't fully understand this targeting of this card. It says front, targets front to back. So why is it hi highlighting all three of these? Um, can't move the wolf. Might go ahead and put the bear here. And it can start beating up that guy. Soul Link Beast attack one additional time. That's going to hit really hard. You can also heal here. Um, you have poison on you and these two don't. So let's heal you. That also removes the poison. That's fantastic. Oh my god, that bear just fucked that scorpion up. Okay, we have glass cannons. So we have to watch out now. Trigger, when you next apply chill, increase its value by 75%. Add your might as bonus chill, uh, which we have five. So we want to play... Oh, this also purges us. It's nice that we put that on us. That actually might help quite a bit. Just got a lot of chill on him, and then we can um, just start getting rid of these things in the way. I don't know if he's going to summon, but... Uh, it's no harm, no foul killing them because we're going to have these beasts slapping through them anyway. So we might as well get, get them out of the way when we can. Now this scorpion here is faster than the wolf who rolled real slow for some reason. So we do have to take care of this. Oh, it's going to attack the back. 10 damage, hook the target to the front row. So hopefully we can kill that before it has a turn. It's weak to... Physical. So did we draw a spear? We did. So 
So that's 8 damage, plus 25%. Should be 10. And this is 16 health, though. So we have two of them. So we could javelin that scorpion twice and not have to deal with it. This guy's going to do a bunch of damage to Nar uh, Naran here. But we have... Lots of defense. Yeah, perfect. 22 damage. She's going to block all of it. Uh, do we want to use this? I don't think we need to. So let's throw a javelin. Throw another javelin. Make sure that's dead. And then let's herd the bear over. Yeah, these are only attacking in their own lane. <laughs> this bear is the strongest thing on the team. Uh, Ice Nova, that's going to be pretty big. Let's add this. Grit, we have to discard a card. Oh, we have to discard this one? Darn. Um, that's okay, let's do it. Just to get the health, it'll it'll come back. Nothing to hit with the wolf. The Scorpion King is huge. How many legs does this guy have? One, two, three, four. Four legs and four arms. All right, and one tail. Um, what are you doing here? Poison pools. Create four poison pools on random cells. So it's going to be these three and then this one with Ida in it. So we got to get to here. And then he's not going to attack, so we can just smack him for very little damage. Um... Uh, darn. Well, we could switch with the bear, so the bear can hit him. That's probably a good idea. Now, I need, I need, uh, Pierre to move. So I gotta, I gotta switch with Pierre. And then shift over. I'm gonna get out of the way of these poison pools. And we've got some healing. And we have Sorry, uh, I think we want to put Taunt on this bear. It might impact his later turns. Oh my god, why is this bear so strong? What's happening? This bear hits like a truck! Uh, Ice Nova. Can't hit him, we gotta move to here anyway. There's our poison pools, which now, if you saw my first series, I got messed up by these poison pools because I didn't understand how strong they were. But now you can right click them and see what they do. It didn't actually show before. On round end, unit in this cell is afflicted with six poison. That makes a lot more sense. Um, you know what it does now. Uh, actually, it doesn't, you can't hover it. It does say potent, at least you know it's potent. But yeah, you wish you could hover it here and show like, you know, poison is gonna do this much damage. You can heal to get rid of it. Like, yeah, I wish it showed that. Now, we have all of this poison, and you're going to attack Naran for pretty big damage. So let's just, just in case we can't finish him off, we'd better uh, heal up here. Or, sorry, guard up. It's hitting real hard. She have resistances, just 5% cold, 5% to some stuff, 15%, no weaknesses or resistances, okay. Um, here we want to probably get some heals out while we can, and then we'll hurl a javelin at this guy, which does huge damage for some reason. Oh, nothing for the bear to do, unfortunately. 
I don't want to stand in the pool. Damn. Wow, dramatic. Yes, levels. Uh, some Get some handshake points. We augurs orbs, relic tokens, and some gold. It's the way. Let's take that. Okay, so select a boon for the next realm. Last for the duration of the next realm. Gain no renown for completing this realm. Gain double renown on the next one. Gain a legendary item. Does that go away? Uh, all heroes gain one strength, dex, and intelligence. Uh, let's do that again. I was enjoying the extra points. So we've got the Howling. So Realm 2 cleared. We have 81 renown because we gained 34 from beating that boss. We have the Howling Valley. We have a 12, an 11, and a 12. So it really doesn't matter the length here. Um, enemies are one level higher. Enemies resist chaos damage. Nodes have a chance to contain germination effects. Now, those are those little thingies that if you don't destroy them, they grow into weird monsters, I think, if I remember correctly. Lost Sanctum has party has physical resist minus minus cold resist and germination. I don't I'm not going to do that one. That that is dangerous there. I don't want to take 10% more physical and 20% more cold damage. That sounds deadly because I'll, I'll misunderstand how much damage I'm going to take and then yeah, routes have a higher chance of containing curses. Routes have a higher chance to be difficult to cross. Oh, nodes have a chance to be shrouded. Oh no. Well, in the interest of actually living through this, it might be this one, because the, these ones just have straight terrible things going on, but this is not that bad. One level higher, I mean, we're routinely fighting bosses that are six levels higher than us. Let's just go here. All right, so we've got some leveling. Do we get any gear? No. Dang it. I want fat loot to drop from these bosses. All right, let's hit the skill grid. We got two more points. Uh, sorry, one more point here on this character. We got three on Ida. Wow, what the heck happened here? So what do we want to grab here? We could go down and learn a skill. Uh... Can head up to evocation and try to get better evocations. Remove a skill from your deck, gain two respect points. Reduce minimum deck size. Boost a card's base values. I might head up here. Uh, we want to buff this Ice Nova. Ice Nova is pretty fun. Very powerful card. I like it. Ida, we have a new skill grid. So we probably want more animal kinship. It really seems to be the way to go here. Eventually we could take out everything in our deck, like the critical and the javelins and stuff, and just have a bunch of beast stuff. Which I might actually do that pretty soon. Uh, looks like that wants to go here. Except, And we have three points to spend here. So we've got a two point here. But what do we need? Does she even need stats? I guess she needs intelligence because her... Her support cards for her animals scale. Yeah, so the guard scales, the healing scales with int, the taunt scales with int. These are fixed. These are all fixed. What a weird build I have going on here. So maybe we want to grab like plus two int. I'll help with some of those things. And then let's grab a, another animal kinship skill. Let's try to get another wolf. Aha, spirit wolf. Let's do it. Wait, wait. Trigger, add a predator dexterity to a random soul link beast after two turns. Well, I don't know what that is. Predator dexterity. Soul link to be on field. Turns zero of two, retain, expend. I was gonna grab another wolf. Learn wolf. Okay, we're going wolf build. All right, skill mastery. Can I... What happens if I master this? So we could do agility charges will reduce the AP cost. Nope. 50% chance to expend an ability charge to return this skill to hand when played. Now, we don't get agility charges with this character, so there's no reason to master this skill. 
Um, do we want to master anything else? What about this? Base value is increased by 35%, gain one channel. We could do the 35%, and then if we upgrade this, it gets to be quite a lot, actually. That could be up to 28 healing if it's mastered. Uh, we have herd. Base value is increased, so it gets more guard. 20% increased SP gain when using this card. Now, the guard is probably good, though. Three taunt. Skill is no longer limited. Um, skill casts SP instead of AP. No. If we're going to master one, let's master this guard one, the shifting one to herd. Let's master that. Okay, there we go. And then let's grab... We have no points left, but we do have another talent tree, which we probably should place so I don't forget about it. Ooh, Animal Kinship 3. Nope, not there. Synergy Socket. Yeah, we want that. We want to go up and grab these. So we'll probably skip this one down here and go right up into there. And then Neuron. Three more skill points to get another skill grid. Tempo cards. We could get another talent slot. Reduce minimum deck size. Hmm. Do we want to do this? Remove a basic dodge. Goodbye, dodge. And then let's give her another talent. And I will pause while I figure out what I want to do. I think we're going to go with the good old plus four dexterity here. And uh, so we're all done spending our level ups here. Pierre still needs an amulet to get that bonus from that talent, but we're almost there. And it's time to plan our route. So let's look at the final boss. We have the Lich. Now we've seen this one one or two times before in my other playthrough. We are running out of supplies, so we really need to plan for that. So let's, let's actually start by planning at the top because we need supplies immediately. Now here is a merchant that we can usually buy supplies at though. So I think we basically have to go that way. This costs one supply, a shrine, an enemy, and then here we could buy supplies at the forge or maybe find some good equipment. So maybe we want to go there and t instead of um, items and resources tinker with the items you currently have uh but i like these exploration thingies but i do want to get a lot of fighting in so we can get stronger oh we need to change ida's deck around so i know the bear is good but uh we should leave it in let's leave it in let's take out this gain critical and draw one let's take out one of these javelins <laughs> So she's just mostly just summoning things now. And she's got one attack just in case she can finish something off or set bleed to make her animals do more damage and one dodge just to keep herself safe. But mostly we're going to be avoiding damage by swapping her with somebody who can tank that damage. Uh, similarly, we need to remove anything from these. This is an item and I don't want to deep six this because it's quite powerful because how strong this makes it. So I don't think I really want to get rid of anything here. I think I want there to be two blocks for him. Neuron has a lot of cards now. Is there anything we wanted to get rid of? Probably one of these ricocheting hits. Okay, that's good. That's good. So let's let's plan on going to this fight, this sh shrine. We can actually go here and get supplies. We don't have to buy as many. And we could go to a fight, a forge, a waypoint. And we could teleport wherever we wanted, like to say one of these deadlier fights. In fact, we could teleport to this one, grab this fate, do lots of fighting, supplies. Uh, we could head down. I like these, these. So I might do like this, 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 and then this. So let's do that. So let's start with this horde encounter. There's going to be nine enemies over two waves. Extra gold found. Area drops one more item, but area is affected by germination cells. And we've got Nether Child, the Spiderling, and then a bunch of spiders and bats. And oh, Wendigos. Those guys are big. OK. 
Okay, there's four more enemies. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot of enemies. Okay, I thought it was nine enemies total. I guess these are the reinforcements. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I misinterpreted something. So here we've got a strike. We have a shriek and feeble to targets potent. Uh, jumper, web pull to the front. And then there's these little germination guys. Cactus monster after two turns. Yep. Okay, so we want to get some vigil. We want to get some guard. That's enough guarding. So we can actually do some damage now. What the hell made that sound? Was that this thing? That was terrifying. Pierre's gonna get pulled to the front before he has a chance to do anything. So that sucks. Wolf. There we go. Now it's going to pull this wolf to the front. That's better. Because he can at least guard. And also has, you know, double Pierre's health for some reason. Poor Pierre. I really do need to give him a little more max health, I think. Okay, that's acceptable. We can't get any channel. Now, we're not going to get hit. So we're probably going to do an Ice Nova. And an Ice Shard. And now he's dead. Feeble, so we're going to do less damage. Alright, so we had another monster come in. What's this? Flying. Takes more damage from ranged attacks, okay. So we have a lot of damage coming in here. We can avoid this by moving. We have a lot of damage coming in here. Uh, hits the front target in the same lane, so we might have to move both of these out of the way, or we can put Neuron in the way. So we might do that. Let's take the take the hit there. These ones aren't really doing a lot of damage, so this guy can survive this. It'll only take three. So we want to get some guard. We've got a lot of damage coming in, like a lot. So we really need, we need even more than that. Here we go. There we go, that's perfect. That's 11, 11, and 11. They're perfect. And then we might just do this. Let's give everybody else some free guard. After two turns in hand, upgrade a random spirit wolf's bite to wolf fang. Does it mean this card has to be in my hand for two turns? I assume so. Random spirit wolf's bite. Okay. Okay, we got quite a bit of wolfing going on now. Jeez, calm down. Glass cannon, heart of winter. Oh, we didn't get any, so we're gonna magic missile something. Um, can't kill any of this, so honestly, should we scoot over? and kill this thing so it doesn't turn into a tree. Get a couple points of channel. He's got one turn left on the cactus monster transformation. So we have, again, like a, a lot of damage coming through here. We may need to move out of this lane, which is going to be easier said than done. Because we can't move that. We might. Can we move that wolf? Do we have herd? We do have herd. So we could scoot with this wolf. Let's get our vigil. So now we want to scoot over to here. 
We'll use shift. And then let's herd this wolf. No, 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 no. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I thought it would just... I thought that it actually moved him. I thought that herd didn't shift until it was there. I thought it just moved him. So I didn't realize it was going to swap places with her. She's going to take some damage, unfortunately. Um, is there anything we can do about that? Not really. We could put him back with taunt on. And some more guard. <laughs> it's just not ideal. This is range damage. Take six more damage from range attacks. All right, here we go. Ice Nova. Uh, and it plays 41 chill. That is a lot of chill. Careful this wolf doesn't die, because the killing blow will transfer damage to Ida. Okay, we still have the boss to go here, so I think I'm going to have to call this episode to an end, because we're, we're over time, and it's going to be a little bit, I think, before we actually defeat Nether Child, the Spiderling, weird name. So uh, yeah, I think we'll call it here, and we'll continue on in episode 8. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please consider liking and subscribing, and I will see you in episode 8.